cussed me, Hiltz. Me money been alarmed. Quick, Duckworth, get the limo. I shall, uh, <clears throat> get out in gear, sir. Hurry, Duckworth, hurry! The pedal is to the metal, Mr. McDonald. The Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. Cake. You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder. Thanks, Uncle Scrooge. You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? Well, we saw the Beagle Boys going into the money bin. We? Sure. Louie and Dewey are here, too. You better hurry, Uncle Scrooge. They might be in trouble. Away from him, you gluttonous goon! Sorry, Scroogey, not a chance. I'm starving. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you saved me, Uncle Scrooge. I did. Are you hurt, lad? Here. I'll handle this. Take this. Money 
for me money then. Call a Rudy. Hurry up, that Scrooge! They're headed for your office! Hold on, lad. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, big dumb. We're running things around here now. Curse me, kill. One false move and I'm a roast duck. Leave me, a Scrooge! It's not worth it! Nonsense, my boy. Beat. You'll never beat us, Scrooge. Ow! Woohoo! We almost got them all! A fat lot of good that will do us if they make it to me vault. Step away from me, Fortune, you crook. Uh, 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 not this time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. That game ain't gonna hide me that way. Your safe is securely suspended, son. Oh, dear. Do be careful or you'll scuff the floor. I think I'll bust it with this bus. There you are, sir. That's smart. Everything is ready, sir. Oh, my aching head. Everything is ready, sir. Who keeps the safe hanging from the ceiling? Oh, no. You muck duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me! Yeah, good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable. Well, pluck me pin feathers! It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys! Boys! What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure. But I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. Brick a doon! What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Look! One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon! And there's another one in Transylvania! And one buried ten miles underground! Hey, wait a minute! Something screwy! This last treasure can't be right! Yeah! There's no mountain on Earth that's that high! Well, according to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. You mean the moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. Launchpad on the horn. I'm headed to the Amazon jungle to find the scepter of the Incan king.
Thanks for the lift, Launch Bud. No problemo. Lift is one of my favorite principles of aerodynamics. Oh, say, you got your radio, Mr. McD? Hi, of course I do. Great! Then I'll be your eyes in the sky. Oh, I'd be happy if you just keep your eyes on the sky for once. What an airhead. Hey, I heard that. Now then, ancient Incan legends claim the King's Scepter was locked away in a giant temple of the clouds, and it should be dead ahead. Gee, Mr. McD, I see a lot of clouds, but no temple. You wouldn't launch, bud. The legend says the temple was hidden away from all but King Manco Capquac himself. But there's bound to be a way to reveal it buried somewhere in this overgrown salad bowl. And I'm not leaving till I find it. an ancient coin depicting a nightingale. I'm not even going to dignify that question with a response. This one has an inscription of an eagle. bearing the image of the Queen's horse. Ha! It'll help us find the treasure for sure. How can you tell, boss? Never doubt the well-honed instincts of an experienced treasure hunter. If you say so, Mr. McD. Rock is in here. Ah, oh, well. Why didn't I get rich by backing away from a challenge? A coin showing the sun. Gads, I nearly tripped over it. This place is a mess. Where's Mrs. Beakley when you need her? Ancient coin with the image of a scythe. It must represent a good harvest. This is Launchpad calling Mr. McD. What is it, Launchpad? I'm running a little low on fuel up here. Well, where are the extra fuel canisters? <laughs> That's why I'm calling you, boss. I checked the glove compartment, but all I found was gloves. Oh, you'd best find those fuel canisters, or well, the next thing you'll be flying is a model airplane. Is that a promise?
found another one, and it depicts the ruly might of a spear. This is Punchpan, Mr. McDee. Come in, Mr. Flick. Launchpad, what was that? Look at this one. It shows a shield. You know, I bet those Incans could have minted a whole lot more coins if they hadn't tried to make each one unique. One billion one. One billion two. There's an image of the scales of justice. Just what I need to help me find the scepter. Hello, Mr. McGee. I had a thought. Launchpad, why start now and spoil a perfect record? That's a good question. Well, I don't have all day. What was your thought? Come to think of it, uh, I forgot. <laughs> Launchpad, were you dropped on your head much as a child? Launchpad, I found something. There's a carving of Monkle Cupquack on this stone slam, and there's eight succulent notches around it. Sounds great. Does it tell us how to find the treasure? Well, I'm not sure what it tells us, but I'm certain it's an important clue. Bless me, bagpipes. These coins I found will fit perfectly into those notches. Oh, you must have come across an ancient Inca poker table, Mr. McDee. You come down here and I'll deal you a blow to the head. You're supposed to be keeping an eye out for trouble, remember? <laughs> All right. Trouble spotting it is. Launchpad, what if the images on these coins symbolize the various tribes of Monfo Capquack's empire? Maybe if I surround him with them. <laughs> oh, no. It's not working. You look at that! The ancient city of Manco Capquack! And that beam of light! It must be pointing to the Temple of the Clouds! But how am I going to get across? Up here, Mr. McDee! Follow that beam of light!
did it! I found a legendary temple of Manco Capquack. With a little help from your old pal, Launchpad McQuack. Oh, <laughs> oh, of course, Launchpad. I couldn't have done it without you. Now just hold on, and with a little luck, that scepter will be mine in no time. Are you here, Mrs. Beakley? Someone has to make sure you get your daily nutrients, Mr. McDuck. You're worth your weight in gold, Mrs. Beakley. Uh, if you'll pardon the expression. Oh, of course. But I'll find my own way out, thank you very much. There it is, the King's Scepter. Well, <laughs> oh, this was easier to find than a penny in a parking lot. Catch me, kilts! What was that?
idiot! Mr. McD, this place has fallen to pieces. No, I'm not leaving without that scepter. Get us out of here, Launchpad. I can't believe we came all this way for nothing. What's the meaning of this? Outsider, our prophecies have long foretold that 